Um, we're gonna start right here, and sometimes my opponent have the arm on this side, okay? So I'll, I'll grab his head, okay? And underhook his arm here, right? <coughs> so I'm on this position here. So what I'm gonna do with my left hand and I underhook his arm, okay? I'll control my collar. It's very, very important also when I'm here on the side control to keep this arm uh, over my leg here, okay, near my hips. When you put the elbow inside, uh, you can push me or you can find space. All right, so I keep his arm here, okay? So the first technique, let's say my opponent is hanging out with the arm here, okay? He couldn't frame on me, so I got on the side and I got on this position here. So I'm gonna control my own collar here, okay? And now I'm gonna pass this hand on this side as well. Okay, and I'll squeeze my elbow against his neck. Because when I do that, I'll bring the elbow towards me and my leg towards him, okay? So I'll squeeze him. It's really hard for me to make this frame, okay? So I'll do this, try to make the frame run. And even when he bridge, bridge run. When he bridge, he's gonna just lift uh, the, the hips, okay? It's really hard for him to sit up. If I don't block this, He's gonna frame, not only he can frame and push me, but also he can start like sitting up. When you fight someone really strong, put your elbow on the floor. Like you put the elbow on the floor like this and start escaping the hips like this. Maybe you can get the guillotine here, but sometimes you're going to escape, okay? So it's very important to block this, okay? So I'm here, and I got here. Squeeze really hard, okay? So you need to feel that pressure there. Now with this hand, I'll hang out here. Okay, with the hand really close to my, to my ear. Okay, this is um, something that I learned like long time ago, but <laughs> I still use that, okay, even against higher ranks. So here, you notice that this arm here, my outside arm, arm it's uh, crossing my wrist here, okay? And I'll go here, so I keep holding my collar. So my opponent will try to find a way to frame, okay? Because if you, you figure that he cannot use this arm, so he's gonna try to move this arm here. And that's when I make a trap for him. So it's very simple. So I get here, when he moves the arm, turn the front of my face, I grab, and I bring his hand down, okay? Go, so I go here. I grab, put my, grab the Americana here, okay? And when you do the Americana, it's the same thing. Keep squeezing, okay? The, the triceps here against his neck, and bring your leg forward here. Okay, try to frame roll them, okay? The problem with the Americana, a lot of people don't trust in this move here because they do when the opponent is making this frame, okay? Sometimes you hear it and then he's gonna start pushing you like this and then you got the distance or he push your leg or even like he's gonna sit up, sit up roll. And you sit up, putting this out, the guy is really strong, okay? Especially if you fight someone bigger than you. So you need to block him and keep both shoulders on the mat, okay? So when you keep flatting on the mat, it's really hard for you to escape. Again, so I'm here, okay? Look at my toes, right? My toes are always like on the mat here because if you do like a big jump to the side, do a big jump to the side, I start like, I stretch my leg or I can, I can follow him, okay? Um, when your opponent is trying to turn like Rolando did, right? You notice that I stretch my leg so this is like something that you can uh, uh, be on top of him and find your balance too. Because you don't want to be with the weight too much on this side and let your opponent like roll and flip you over, right? So every time you roll that way, I stretch my leg and then I go back. Okay, I need to have that feeling because I put more weight on this side, okay? So again, so I'm here, I go. Now when I pass his hand here, if he try to turn this way, go. So my hand will help me here too as well. At the same time that I'm squeezing here, my hand is helping me here, okay? I grab the collar, okay? Notice that my elbow is on the floor still, okay? Now when Rolando tried to pass the arm, I grab and I change here for the American. Flatten his hand on the floor, squeeze really hard here, okay? Turn his hand outside, okay? It's very important. Don't let his hand be this way. Some guys, they can resist more, so you go here. Put his pinky uh, finger towards the mat, okay? never the thumb. So you go like this. And now you're gonna slide your hand, let, let go. you're gonna slide your, his hand this way, okay? and then you lift the elbow. 
Okay? Go. Take a one, two. Be careful, okay? Because you can hurt your opponent's uh, arm. Okay, one more time. So I'm here. Pass my hand here. Squeeze. Okay? I'm blocking him. I'm using my hand. When I'm sure he's passing the hand, I'm going to grab. I'm just going to wait here. Okay, go. Turn his hand. And then finish him. Okay? okay? This is basic. Like, right? It's so simple. I feel sometimes like you guys do so much advanced stuff that you forget about this. Okay, it's very simple. So for the advanced guys, like you guys can drill, for example, like grab my collar or my sleeve. Like Rolando is here, break his grip, okay? And I go for an epsilon step. Get right here, throw my collar, and just wait for him. And then you get him right here. Or like a sweep or whatever you like where you land on the side so you go one by one one time each so that way that doesn't hurt too much your shoulder okay yes, sir. you guys have any questions yes yeah like you mean let me do this sir. you mean like doing this yeah, yeah you can yeah you can do that too that's a good one too Okay, I, I either do this, okay, or I have the other one. But I feel like when I do this, I not only have the, the arm here, but I have other things. Let's say, we're gonna jump his arm to the other side really, really quick here. Okay, I have, I like to go for, for this, like, choke. Or even force him to turn, to go back and take his back. But, Having your leg over the arm, it's a great way to, you can do that as well. Okay. And that's gonna be our next move because I wanna to go to the uh, arm bar, okay? okay? All right, let's go one, two, three. We are in the position, right? You have the choice to go here, uh, or the choice to like step over like this, like Lucas suggests, which, which is really good as well, okay? Um, both ways you're gonna wait uh, for the opponent to move this arm here. Because there's nothing else he can move when he feels like trapped like that. So you just gotta be patient and wait, okay? Usually when I'm fighting, I just wait like this. And then when he's trying to, to move, I keep here. And then when he's moving his hand uh, towards the side of my my, hand, my forehead, and then I, I get it. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a mouse trap, right? So you have the cheese, and you wait. When he does it, you got it, you know? And then he taps. Okay, uh, when you trap the, the leg like this, uh, I also use that to do the arm bar, okay? So to step over, right? For example, so let's say I'm here and then he didn't move his hand, so he decided to stop. And if you are a competitor, you gotta move. The referee will come and say, hey, fight, right? He's gonna say, fight, luch, and then start giving you a penalty if you just hold, right? So you gotta start moving. Uh, when you're here and then he's not moving, he's just, waiting for you to move, okay? Um, if you keep this here and you wanna go for the arm bar, it's gonna be hard for you, okay? Let's say if I, I need to turn it to the side like this, okay, to get the arm bar first, because it's really hard for me to get the arm bar with my opponent both shoulders on the floor. For example, even if I pass over this arm here, if I try to go the arm bar like this, it's gonna be so like weak and loose, right? So, I'll need to turn my opponent sideways. Like my elbow will go inside like this and my weight will be on my forearm. Okay, and I like to grab the collar here. Okay, sometimes you can do like this, like nogi. You can grab here. But the problem is you, you didn't trap this arm, so he's gonna close the elbow on the floor and escape. Like this, and then sometimes you lose that the position, okay? So let's say you're here. Okay, you're here. And then you're waiting, and he's not moving, and then you go here. Okay, so you go C grip on his biceps, and then push his triceps to the floor, and step your shin over, and then you stay with his, his biceps. Now, you use this hand to push yourself up and bring the, the elbow in. <coughs> Using the forearm really heavy as a knee on belly, your, your forearm is like a knee on belly. Imagine like when you put the knee on belly, you put the weight here, right? So 
here is the same thing. And your forearm needs to be under the armpit, not under the elbow, like this. Okay, you need to be as close as you can to the armpit here. And put a lot of pressure. And this hand on the floor will help you. Do not let your opponent put the back on the floor. Put your back on the floor again. Okay, because his goal, his intention is to put the back, the shoulder flat on the floor again. So that way you don't have the arm bar, okay? So once you staple here, it's hard for him to come up, right? To sit up. So now you got him, right? So easy. Once you're here, turn around. You're gonna reach and wipe your leg over his, over his arm. So you lean towards the hips with your head, and then wipe the leg like this. So he's still stapling. Now this leg here is free, your right leg is free, so you can go over his head, okay? Turn up, like this. So here you go. And when you grab the, the pants here, I like to grab the pants or the belt before I go down, okay? So when you grab the pants, you don't grab inside your leg like this. You see my elbow inside my leg? So this is not good. I like to grab outside, okay? Because when I rotate right now, my leg, my leg is, is free to rotate like this, okay? So if I go with my, my arm inside, it's gonna be kind of like awkward and I need to get a space between. So when I give this space, it's gonna escape, okay? So you must go here and look how I step my foot really close to his back. Super tight because then it's hard for him to flatten his back on the floor again. So I'm pinching and squeezing my legs here. Okay? So I grab outside, grab the pants. And the reason that I grab the pants instead of here is because if I go here, Rolando will spin and skate like this, look. And then you end up on bottom. He's, he's already in a good position to pass your guard. So, when you're here, you wait, it's not moving. C grip, staple, feet on the floor, elbow inside. Put your weight on him, wish you offer. Step the leg over, the foot really close to his back. Grab his pants. Now when I go with the pants, holding the pants right to spin on him. It's really hard for me to spin, okay? I stretch his arm. Once I stretch, then I can go in and finish. Because here is gonna be hard. Still, he can he can turn belly down, okay? Even if your leg is over here, even if your leg is over here, you still can turn this way and spin. Okay? Now it's up to you to control his wrist and keep his pinky down and his thumb up, right? So if you turn the hand like this, you need to squeeze towards the side of the pinky like this way. Okay? If his hand is like this way. You go this way, okay? That's a lot of uh, the white belts, they don't understand that. Sometimes they think he's just doing this, and then when the guy turned the, the, the arm like this, they like, ah, uh, and he's not tapping, look. I'm doing pressure, the same pressure here that I do in the arm bar, but he's not tapping because his joint is turning. But if I go like this, look, I'm not, I'm not even like bridge, it's just, you're ready to Okay, so you need to understand that, okay? This is very important. The basic details, but, uh, Good to know. Always to remind you on that. Okay. Again. So I'm here, I'm waiting. So if you pass the hand over, pass, I go. Okay, go back. You can you actually drill this again, okay? So you pass, you go get one time here. Go back, you didn't pass. See grip, staple, hand on the floor, turn. Put your weight on your forearm really heavy. Windshield wiper, step over, grab the pants, and then get the arm bar. Once you stretch. You finish, okay? If you watch my highlights, that's the arm bar that I hit all the time on the side control, okay? I love, I love to do that. I watch some of my fights. When I get there, that's what I do, okay? It's very powerful, very strong. As long as you staple the, the arm, okay? So don't try. This just is all about the detail, right? So every time you miss one detail, you miss a position. So you gotta be like heavy, strong when you're on the side control know how, how to put the weight, how to manage, and how to move while your, your opponent can move. Okay, that's the goal. That's my intention here on top, right? So, you see like I isolate his arm here, now it's harder for him to move. He still can move a little bit, but then when I windshield wiper and I step my foot here, now I try to move. Now it's even harder for him to move. Now I grab the pants. Why the pants? Because sometimes he doesn't wear the belt. Right, so the pins out is here. 
and then you turn and lay down 90 degrees. Even like a little bit more towards his leg, then this way. And grabbing the bands will help you to manage this angle here. Okay? It's doing better. And then you finish. Okay? Again, all the competitors are uh, higher rank guys. You guys can drill something else. And then when you land there, you drill the armbar. Okay? Um, how do you like to force it on that position? And okay. That's a good question. But sometimes you already land here, and you're already here, right? Like this, like that. So I go this way. You know, I move this way, my my head, and then he feels like, uh, you see that I'm still blocking his arm here? I'm blocking this arm. So he feels like he, he needs to frame again. That's when I press my head this side, and then I go back here, you know? Like grabbing this way? Yeah, you can do that too. But the problem is how I'm gonna use my hand to staple this leg, to staple this arm, you know? Mm -hmm. So I need to do that before. So I'm gonna go <laughs> one and then two. I can do that, okay? But then like when I go, it's a little bit different, but it's kind of like almost the same thing, you know? So you try to turn his sides, but it's, I feel like I don't have too much weight on him here. You know, I prefer to go here. I prefer if I can get it here, better for me. But it's still, you can do the armbar using the other side too, like this. But then you, you gotta grab here, see? You gotta hold here. Cause I don't have the pants there. Try turning belly down Rolando. It's kinda like doing a kimura on him. If I go here, go Rolando. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna move. So, you gotta, as soon as you go, you go like this. You bring his hand this way. It's kind of like a Kimura trap, you know, I like to do that. Then I step my leg over just to be like safer and then finish it. So, okay. If I want to force the first armbar, I do what I, what I told you first. I go, I block here, okay? And I pass my hand this way. And then he goes back, I underhook here. And then he's hard and then I go back here, okay? But if let's say uh, I, I don't want to go this way here, right? I'm going to go with this hand. I can't go to each other hand the other side. Here. Let's say if it's here or here, I can go like this. Okay? But you see, if I forget to, to staple this arm, then the arm bar will be very loose. Okay? He can like sit up, sit up, sorry. You know what I mean? I'm escaping. So I got to make sure always that I staple here first. Then. And you see that my head is really close to huh? My head is really close to his, to his hips right now. I step, now I turn it like this, and I squeeze here, see? Now when I go to the armbar turn, huh? it's like getting a Kimura, see? I go, so he doesn't turn too fast, and I get here. Now I'm finish it. Okay. Uh, we gotta learn that one, like, when the arm is in the other side, using the other hand, like tomorrow, I can show you that. Okay, yes, sir. All right, any other question? All right, so I see you guys drilling, you guys got like a little lazy. So I wanna see you guys drilling like a little bit harder. Especially the arm bar, like make sure you make everything tight, okay? Even like when you guard class here. So I don't wanna see like, like this, you know? Like so loose and look, my grip is a, I'm holding like this, like a teacup grip. So you gotta, <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta go strong. Like you go here, imagine you're fighting. Cause you're doing this for your show in the fight, you know? So when you're fighting, it's kinda like, now is the, the trap is this, it's drilling, right? And then one day you gotta be on, out stage, like giving your show. So if you don't do correctly, how are you gonna make the show happen? You know? So I go here, I go, Boom, I grab him. Look, my grips are strong and then I go. I make sure I feel the mat, I feel my opponent. You know, I'm squeezing him. It's kind of like I'm, I'm doing my, my job here, okay? All right, let's go one, two, three. You're gonna start on the side control. And the person on bottom try to escape, the person on top, try to make transitions there. If you're on top and you're in a good position of attack, 
it doesn't uh, doesn't need to be the the arm bar that I show you or the Americana. It can be like Kimura chokes, North South chokes, paper cut choke, like everything you know it from there, wrist locks. Right? So you gotta understand when you pass the guard, you especially when your chest is on him, you have this option. You have the wrist, you have the elbow, you have the shoulder, you have the neck, right? When you're working attacking the upper body, right? But sometimes you can jump for a knee bar, for example. Right? When <laughs> this guy when you try to uh, recover, you can go for a foot, foot lock or ankle lock, right? But let's focus on, try to keep on the side control as long as we can, okay? As long as we can. So you can keep the same partner for now. We're gonna do a couple rounds like that. Um, every day, pretty much in the mornings, I wanna work on the specific <coughs> sparring. Because once I, once you guys are in the side control or back take or mount position, I want to see you guys there and finish the fight there, okay? So if you, can stay here in the fight, you, your mindset needs to be the fight is over, right? So I'll never go back inside his leg again. So I have a great opportunity for me to finish the fight, okay? And that's the intention in Jiu Jitsu. That's why we get here. We don't get here to give you space and let him recover the guard and then I go back again. Because every time I'm here, you have opportunity right now. But when I'm here, I am the one that has more opportunities, right? Okay? So we're gonna start here, start with the with the arm over your lap like this and fight, okay? Roland will do his best to escape. I'll do my best to maintain here. And be patient, right? The goal intention right now is not like to submit a lot, okay? The intention, especially in the first couple rounds, is to control as long as you can. So if I can stay here, and if I can stay here for two minutes, the entire round, that'll be amazing, okay? That's my intention, because before you go for submission, you need to understand like how to control the position, okay? You cannot do an arm bar, let's say, look, I'm all loose here, right? Start moving, hold on, start moving, like, sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. I cannot like try to do it like this, you know? So I need to close the space as much as, much as possible, okay? I need to pull him and push. So at the same time I'm pulling, I'm pushing with my legs, I'm working really heavy on top of him. Okay, and uh, one of my coaches, like Fernando today, he always say like, when I'm here, I make my opponent only move his eyes. That's what he used to say for me. Like, oh, he can be able only to move his eyes. Nothing else, because only you move. Even though I'm moving here, like, I'm super like, super heavy and you see, I know how to, if I want more weight here, I'm pushing with my leg. If I want to go for the armbar, I cannot put this in on the floor. If this is on the floor, I go for Kimura. If this is off the floor, I go for the Amber or Kimura, you know? So you gotta understand all that and make transitions, okay? If you take the back, great. If you mount, great. Keep fighting. If the person on top is in a great position, mount or back, keep fighting. Only stop if you recover the guard. If you put on the half guard here, go and stop, reset, okay? So every time your opponent trap your leg, or if you turn me as well, reset. He only can def uh, needs to defend. I'll work on defense this week as well. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, we're gonna learn some defense later. When I had a long draft and I fight guys arm I guess. Like sideways? Yeah. You turn it sideways. As he's turning sideways, that's when I always especially bigger, stronger guys, that's when I lose. If I'm here, when you turn uh, like this, yeah, right here. when you do this, yeah, and this in between this, right? Yeah. So your weight needs to be here, Connor. Even my my head leans towards his his hips a little bit, and when I when I have this like here, I push this way. Try to sit up on. So it's really hard, and I use my hand to base me. So I use the floor like a wall. Imagine the floor is like a wall here, pushing. You know, so I'm always pushing the. Floor. Yeah, it's like my head goes down here, Connor, like this. You know, in the meantime, like also like when I'm here, like I'm grabbing his belt or his, his pants, I'm making my grips here, you know? And if you feel that, if you feel like your opponents, you feel like they, you need to trap this arm, you can do this, like, like this, you know? But now you scoop under his arm, this is a great option to, to go, you know? But for sure, like, the, the reason that he's escaping probably is because you're not leaning too much like that way. 
right? It's like I say, it's like a neon valley, so you need to put all the pressure. So when I put the neon valley here, like this, so I use this leg here to push more weight here, you know? It's the same concept when I put my forearm on him, I use the leg to push like the weight here, you know? So, so and make bases, okay? All right, let's go, one, two, three.